there. Okay, so I am blending on this big old buffet and I uh, thought I would share it with you. So here we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and start. So I'm starting with a color called um, Peppercorn. This is by Wiesel. It's like a gray charcoal-y kind of a color. And then we're going to use this color, which is River Rock. And um, we'll add a little bit of cream in there, okay? So here we go. Thanks for coming if you're there. And um, let's just get started here. So, so we cleaned this piece off. Got it all ready. Nice thing about these paints, we don't have to um, sand or use a primer or anything like that. We can just go ahead and um, start painting. If you feel like you have a really dirty, dirty piece of furniture, something that's been in the kitchen, there might be some grease or anything like that coming through, um, you want to use a primer, that'd be a good idea. Hi, Annette. Um, and then, you know, also sometimes with whites, if you don't want to put more than one coat on, you can get away with that if you put a primer on there also, a white primer. You can, um, it helps you to not do that. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for coming, guys. I appreciate it. Happy Friday. Um, I know I'm happy about it. I get to go to the store on Fridays, which is awesome. I mean, on Saturdays, not Fridays instead of my dental office, so that's good. What are you guys up to? Anything fun? All right, so I'm just kind of moving in sections. I tend to work better that way, um, so that's the way I do it. And um, so we'll get these middle drawers done. So I'm using Wiseau paint. I'm using the Klingon S50. My Favorite brush. I do have some new brushes coming though. This Klingon S50s are really hard to get your hands on. So if you ever want one, oh, I think I have two. So if anybody ever wants one before they're gone, um, they they go they sell out really really fast. So, but I do have some new brushes coming from a different company that I might pick up to sell that I've heard are just fabulous. So I'll be letting you guys know if that's. I end up doing that. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the top yet. It's in really good shape. It was covered with glass all these years. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't think the color of wood that it is right now is going to go well with what I've got going. So I'm gonna do something, but I wanna get this paint on. So we got this coat of pepper coat on here. And we're just going to Kind of let that set a little bit. And then we're gonna start mixing in our other color. All right. So we've got that on there. Let's move that peppercorn aside. Put it over here. I'm just gonna put my lid on top. So thank you guys for coming and watching. And let's let this kind of Dry just a tad bit. Let's see. All right, done. <laughs> That's dry enough. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, let's see which color should we use first. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my cream, which is here. Got a little bit more than I wanted, I think, so let's really blend that in. The misting bottle keeps everything wet, keeps your paint moving right along without um, overspraying, which can happen when you use regular squirt bottles. Well, I like that really fine mist. It seems to be what I want. So a little bit more cream here in the center. So when I'm blending, I think most people, but I'm not sure, I usually use a minimum of three colors. I'm dipping into the River Rock now. Um, it seems to work best if you have at least three. You want a light color, a medium color, and a darker color. Um, 
to get the right effect. That seems to be the right combination for me. Um, of course, you can put more in there if you'd like, but I think three minimum is really probably a good idea. Backtrack over there to blend that up. And let's go down here a little bit. So again, we're spraying to keep everything nice and wet. And um, keep it working in there. Whenever I paint live, I always feel like I need to move really fast, so forgive me. I feel like I don't want to keep you guys for longer than, than you want to be here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take, so it's still really wet, we've got our two coats on, so we're going to take the paper towel and I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to use a regular chip brush that's dry. And I'm going to sweep this on here. Like so. And I'll pull it back off. So it's going to give me this rippling effect on the paint, kind of pulling up the undercolor from the top color. So it's, it's like distressing it in a cool way, giving it a little bit of different texture. I'll just kind of keep doing that and get a fresh towel, paper towel. Keep going. Can you guys hear me okay? I know I talk quietly. Okay, so can you see the different effects that kind of gives it? That looks kind of cool. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna turn you a little bit over here. And move myself closer. Go ahead and go back into the peppercorn. And now over here we have to start getting our legs too. So let's move you over here so I can get yet closer. Move it up. Okay, so I'm gonna start going down my leg. over just a little bit to the back so we can oh you guys can't see my legs there we go a little bit more and this girl's got very pretty legs you want to see them not me the furniture my legs aren't so great All right, so let's go back up to where you guys can see. And we'll get that peppercorn on there.
So it might be kind of tricky to see. I'm not sure how it's filming, but the, the two colors together are really cool and they create kind of a modely, um, almost a stony look. All right, so we've got some of that on there. We put our peppercorn aside. And let's go ahead and get out our Higgins Lake. I'm gonna go ahead and just start down here. Getting around the corners. Let's go ahead and start adding some up here. Grab our paper towel and your brush. I'm going to start here in the middle. Get this frame. So the more distinct your colors are, the more this paper towel trick is going to be cool because it's going to really show the dimensions of what, that's not going to work, of what you've got going on. So if I was using, say, a really light color or a dark color under a light color, it would. coming out weird right there. You see how there's like white streaks on there? I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of that. I guess that's because that's the last thing I had on there. So let's get rid of that. Just do that again. Whenever you're not happy with it, you just go ahead and fix it up. And let's go ahead and just get that. There we go. All 
right, guys. So that is my Friday night painting with you. Thank you for watching, and um, stay tuned for more if you like. Thank you. Bye-bye.